I work hard and I work hard for my things and for somebody to take it away from me, everything was new in my apartment. It's hard. A 29-year-old man is accused of setting a fire that left almost 90 people without a home. Flames ripped through an apartment building on Lafayette Avenue over the weekend. The Red Cross has stepped in to help the victims. News 4's Dave Graber has more now about the suspect. Dave. Jackie Don breaking this fire down by the numbers. 84 families and 36 apartment units are now without a permanent home. The fire did more than two and a half million dollars in damage to the building and to people's belongings. What didn't burn up in the fire this weekend? Some residents were allowed back into the building today to salvage what they could. Many of the more than 80 people who were forced out of an apartment complex on Lafayette Avenue this weekend were allowed back inside the charred but icy remains. They carried out clothes and shoes, electronics, anything they could salvage. I lived here since I was 12 years old. Julissa Mendez and her mother called the complex home for the past yeah. eight and a half years. What do you do now? Man, whoever got friends, family, so all we could do, take it one day at a time. Yeah. Got, got something better in store. We just got like main things like clothes, jewelry, um, our medicines, stuff like that. To see all your stuff, you know, especially I work hard and I work hard for my things and for somebody to take it away from me, everything was new in my apartment. It's hard. The firefight overnight Friday was massive, hours long and sub-zero wind chills. We had over 100 firefighters there and 25 pieces of apparatus. And once again, phenomenal job by the men and women of the Buffalo Fire Department. Fire marshals say this man, 29-year-old Jonathan Jimenez of Buffalo, started the fire in one of the apartments. There's surveillance of that gentleman entering the building and exiting the building uh, several minutes before the fire was started. The arrest makes dealing with the fire's aftermath a little easier for those who once called this building home. I'm glad, glad, because uh, all my memories got wiped away, you know, and I don't like seeing my mom suffer, so <laughs> glad. Now, although no civilians were injured in this fire, there were three firefighters who were injured in the blaze. Uh, one additional note about Jimenez, he wasn't even allowed in the building thanks to an existing protection order. He's facing arson, criminal mischief, reckless endangerment, as well as other charges related to the fire. He's due back in court later this week. Reporting live in the studio, Dave Graber, News 4 at 6.